hello everyone welcome to adaptical electronics in this session we are going to discuss about switching techniques data communication takes takes place in many forms uh, that is using many switches that is switching techniques mainly we have three types of techniques in the data communication part that is circuit switching message switching and pocket switching uh we travel we travel to different communication data communication is the main communication we follow in regular life the techniques used behind the communication of the transmitter and receiver is the main aim of the today's session the main aim of the data communication and network is to facilitate the exchange of data such as audio text or video in the different points of world delivery of data of information with the yes of accuracy various type of switching techniques are employed in the data communication why we use switching techniques uh, is there any specification available in switching techniques so this is the slide which we make the clear of the all data routes and network consists of many switching type devices in order to connect multiple devices one solution could be have a point to point connection in between pair of devices but the increase of number of connections the other solution is central device uh, by using the start topology the central device works both of these methods are wasteful and impractical in the very large network so we use switching technique as a part of data communication of transmitter and receiver data communication takes place in three major techniques we use as circuit switching technique message switching technique and packet switching technique let's get into detail first circuit switching this is a technique that directly connects the sender and receiver in a unbroken path uh, in the past we have know that telephone switching equipment establishes a caller call a telephone to the receiver telephone by a physical connection that is uh, through wire we have connected the receiver and uh, transmitter in the telephone switching type now uh, this is the path that exists between both ends in the conversion is terminated if the receiver or transmitter need not to be sent the connection will be terminated once the decision make we have uh, we don't have want to transmit one as well uh, let's get into detail of uh, circuit switching circuit switching in operates almost the same way of telephone must work a complete end to end path must exist before communication takes place once the connection is in initiated as i earlier said that once the connection is initiated uh, the acknowledgement that is ready will need to carry on and transfer uh, let's look at uh, message switching uh, this is the diagram of message switching uh, a is the transmitter and h is the receiver once the a send the message to b b transfers to c and d uh, through c we get a three connections that is c to f d to e and c to e e to g and f to g is the output of the transmitter that is received by the receiver uh, we'll have some of the advantages of the message switching compared to circuit switching uh, in this switching we have efficiency greater than compared to switching circuit switching track congestion can be reduced also through message switching and broadcasting can be achieved with the use of address appended in the message uh, this is less cost compared to circuit switching a uh, couple of disadvantages of message switching are message switching is not compatible with interactive application store and forward addresses are expensive so we go for pocket switching this is the upgraded uh, switching technique we are using in the data communication part this is a solution tries to combine advantages of message and circuit switching to minimize the disadvantages of both here is the one of the di block diagram of packet switching these are the 65431 are the packets of data from a that is transmitter this can be sent through various signals and receives are the receiver at h this is the performance of the packet switching type uh, compared to message switching and packet switch circuit switching this is less in cost 
and the message can be as i said earlier this is is broken into small packets small parts called packets um, uh, we have some of the types of packets switching that is datagram and uh, virtual circuit let's get into detail of uh, virtual circuit in virtual circuit the route between the station that does not mean that the decided decade path as in circuit switching the difference between virtual and datagram approaches with the circuit switch circuit the node node does not need to make routing decisions for each packet some of the guarantees we have offered by the virtual circuit the packet sent arrive in the order sent with no duplicates or omissions with no errors regardless how how is implemented internally and this is the session thank you for watching video goodbye